Hello everyone. Welcome to Logical Solutions. In this video, you will learn how to work with symmetric conditions. Here we have an axisymmetrical pressure vessel which is modeled as a solid and as a shell. Due to symmetry, a quarter of the vessel is modeled. So under partial solid study, the body is assigned alloy steel and a pressure load of 200 psi is given. So now we will give a symmetric condition to represent the cylindrical vessel. Right click the fixtures and select fixed geometry. In the property manager, expand advanced and select symmetry. Select these planar faces for symmetric fixture. We will apply a fixed geometry feature over here to restrain the model. Now we will create the mesh with the recommended mesh settings and run the study. The maximum stress value obtained over here is 29.8 MPa. Now we'll use the shell configuration to model the same problem. So we'll activate the shell configuration to view the study properties. The same material alloy steel is given to the model with a shell thickness of 0.5 inches and a pressure load of 200 psi is given. Now we'll apply a symmetric fixture to the shell edges. So right click the fixtures and select advanced fixtures. In property manager select symmetry. Select the six edges of the shell for fixtures. So again, to stabilize the model, we will apply a fixed geometry feature over here to restrain the model. Mesh the model with the default element size and tolerance. And run the study. When viewing the results of shell model, it is important to view the results on top and bottom faces. The default color for shell bottom face is orange. The equivalent stress results on top shell faces is 28.5 MPa and on bottom face is 29.2 MPa. So friends, this is all about how to use symmetric boundary conditions effectively to reduce the solution time without compromising on the accuracy. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for more updates in SolidWorks Simulation. For further queries, please contact me.